You see, it comes down to one simple thing. It is easier to convince yourself that they got lucky than actually becoming successful. Haters don't really hate you. They hate themselves more because you are a mirror of what they wish to be, not what they are willing to work to be. You are what they wish to be, not what they will work to be. Don't worry about hate. If they are hating, then they are already below you. Ignore the noise. You have no time for negative bullshit. Repeat it in your head whenever a comment comes to mind. I have no time for negative bullshit. Repeat and repeat this until you believe it. Because let me tell you this. You do not have any time for negative bullshit. If you are wasting your time on negativity, you will become negative. Surround yourself with people you admire and want to become and delete negative people from your world. They will only attempt to drag you back down. Another important lesson on this journey is don't attempt to bring these negative people up with you. It will not happen. You are carrying dead weight. It is hard. They may be friends or family, but you must cut them loose. If they really can't make it to the levels you are going, then they will help themselves to get started. You, you cannot do it for them. And in most cases, they don't give a shit anyway. You see, not everyone wants to work 80 hour work weeks and beat their bodies to the ground for success and riches. Instead, they want the easy route and convince themselves it's not possible. It is much simpler to change your thoughts and beliefs on something than it is to actually put the hard work, the blood, the sweat, and the tears into attempting to achieve something. If we can just convince ourselves that they got lucky, or they had it easy, or they had a better opportunity, if we convince ourselves of this, then we don't have to face up to the actual reality that they worked their asses off to get to that position. And deep down, you know that this is what it took and this is what it's going to take you. The journey of success is like standing at the bottom of a mountain. Looking up is very deterring and discouraging. From the bottom, the top seems so far away, an unobtainable goal. In this moment, we convince ourselves that reaching the peak is beyond our reach and we talk our minds out of it. But it all starts with a step. One step, then another, then another, until you're 200 steps up looking down on the people telling you to come down. But you venture on and the yells from below get louder and louder from all the way up here, you stop hearing them. The noise and negative opinion of others does not shake you. On your way to the top, you will come across other people on the mountain in pursuit. You may expect the negative words like that of the people below, but one thing you will learn on your climb to the top is these people who are also climbing upwards will only help you and encourage your success. They may test you and compete with you, but only to better each other. These are the people you should surround yourself with. From time to time, an echo from the bottom may reach you near the top. You can't succeed. From this point, that scream from the bottom is just but a whisper. When you reach the peak, you may settle and enjoy the view. But if I'm going from experience, every conqueror that hit the top, they take one breath and look down from once where they have come from and then look up once more for the higher mountain to climb. When you are in pursuit like this, you never settle. You are always looking up and never down. If you are the one hated, then you are most likely doing something right. You see, if you are hating on someone, you are probably not in the place you want to be. You may not even realize it, but you are focusing on someone else's journey and you are looking at them with envy. This completely destroys your inner belief. You have already placed yourself below or put them on a pedestal. Whether you want to admit it or not, that person is showing you that it is possible to achieve your dream. And you are attempting to discredit that because you don't feel as if the way they did it or what they achieved is possible for yourself. If you are the one hated. The only way you lose to them is if you retaliate. You have no business reacting to people trying to drag you down. Although you must distinguish hate from critique, as the latter can amplify your success and be used as a tool. Haters are like fuel for the fire, coal being shoveled into a train. So long as you use that fire right, 
you will be an unstoppable force. You see, it comes down to one simple thing. It is easier to convince yourself that they got lucky than actually becoming successful. Haters exist because successful people are like a mirror being held up to them, showing them they have no excuse for why they are not successful. This then leads to the haters trying to discredit or tear down the successful person. 